Thank you, Chairperson. It is my great honor to attend the EBC 2020 virtual. I'm Yosan Blasato from Japan. My topic is 3D OCT guided retinal bifurcation PCI. Recent innovation of OCT is a 3D reconstruction which provides a clear visualization of the guide or recrossing point for the side match direction. So we conduct the Japanese 3D OCT bifurcation registry to invest the effect of the detection of the guideway recrossing point to the side branch using a 2D or 3D OCT on the bifurcation stenting. In this study, we debated the two types according to the link connection at the current site. There is no link connection, link free type. Uh, there is a link connection at the current site, link connecting type. These are the representative case the uh, link free type this uh, wiring can be achieved the wide opening however a uh, link connecting type even after this uh, wiring link connection still remained at the side branch ostium we defined the distal wiring in link free type as lfd type we compare the lfd and non-lfd type in terms of the incomplete strut position after kissing balloon inflation here you can see in the side branch ostium LFD type has lower incidence of incomplete center position compared to the non-LFD type. We conducted the March variable analysis for detect the predictor of incomplete center position. Here you can see link connecting type and distal recrossing are strong predictor of the incomplete center position. This slide shows the success rate of the optimal guideway recrossing. In the left panel, first attempt, that means the angel guided wiring, succeeded in the optimal wiring in only 66%. Accumulating the attemptation, OCT guidance elevated the success rate up to 87%. In the right panel, uh, that is the uh, left comparison between the left main uh, versus uh, non left main bifurcation. In the left main bifurcation, first attempt uh, succeeded in optimal wiring in only 56%. In this study, we conduct a sub-study comparing the 2D OCT guidance versus 3D OCT guidance. About half of the cases, uh, we use the 3D OCT software on-site. In terms of optimal recrossing in the free calendar type, complete success was achieved in the 3D OCT guidance versus 85% in the 2D OCT guidance. In the whole case, distal recrossing can be achieved in 91% in the 3D OCT guide and 76% in the 2D guide. And average recrossing time 1.6 versus 1.1 times. And more than two recrossing time was required in the 3D OCT guide, about half of the case. And the operation time was longer by 15 minutes in the 3D OCT guide. This is the comparison in incomplete strata position. In all cases, there is a favorable trend in 3D OCT guidance to reduce uh, incomplete center position in the side branch ostia side. Uh, however, in the left main bifurcation cases, uh, this trend has been changed to the statistically significant. So 3D OCT guidance is more favorable in left main bifurcation. These are the representative cases of a failure of optimal guide or recrossing under the 2D OCT guidance. The operator cannot identify the actual guideway recrossing point. In the upper case, uh, here you can see guideway recrossing in the small cell in the side branch ostium and the final kissing balloon impression. Uh, here you can see the most of the gel strut remained at the side branch ostium. In the lower case, uh, here you can see guideway recrossing is a proximal cell. The operator performs the kissing balloon impression. However, gel strut protrude into the member cell. These are the representative cases of a 3D OCT guidance in the link free type. In the upper case, we felt the uh, optimal distal wiring in the first attempt. So we change the guide wire uh, from the proximal to the distal cell. And final kissing by inflation performed. Here you can see optimal wide opening for the trifurcation region can be achieved. In the lower case, we also failed the uh, disavowing in the first attempt. Uh, so uh, we performed the part 
a somewhat widening of the distal of cell can be achieved. So uh, we succeed in the distal widening and final kiss by inflation promotes a wide opening for the side branch. These are the three OCT guidance cases in link connecting type. In the upper case, here you can see link connection at the side branch of ostium. We uh, decross the guide wire uh, in the just a larger cell uh, in the second attempt. Uh, we perform the fine you know, kissing bone inflation. Unfortunately, uh, the wide opening can be achieved. However, the ring connection still remains at the limb of the side branch ostium. The uh, lower case, uh, guide wire crossing into the distal smaller cell. Uh, here you can see we perform the final kiss bone inflation at high atmosphere. However, link connection still remain at the center of the side branch ostium. Another op option is the balloon push technique. Uh, this is the one zero or LM bifurcation region, a crossover stenting for pond, guide or recrossing in the proximal cell. And under the anchoring of the LED balloon, uh, the 2.5 meter short balloon was pushed from the left main to the SX and the final kiss manual performed. Here you can see a good expansion was achieved uh, in the side branch ostium and no gel strut in the side branch ostium. This is the current concept of the side branch treatment according to the side branch gelling strut configuration. We add the new concept, no or less gelling type in addition to the two previously reporting type. When we encounter the link-free type, 3D OCT guided guidance is strongly recommended for the optimal uh, segment treatment. When we encounter the link connecting type, 3D OCT guided distal guide wiring does not always lead to the optimal result. More aggressive part may induce the extension of a far distal cell into the side branch ostium, which is more appropriate for the guide wire crossing. Push balloon method is another option. When the side branch is small, uh, we can leave it. No or less gelling type, uh, we can leave it with confidence except for severe side branch compromise. We conducted the another study comparing the pot versus non pot. In terms of guide wire crossing, a pot group has succeeded in the distal wiring the first attemptation in 65% versus 72% in the non pot group. Proximal cell 21% versus 14%. Uh, in terms of genetic strut configuration pattern, a link free type 60% versus 49%. However, there are no significant difference between the two groups. Therefore, in the study, POT was not effective to enhance optimal guide wire recrossing. So, we investigate the manner of POT in leading four hospitals in the study. Uh, surprisingly, a manner of POT was different among four hospitals. Please note the pink color indicates the hospital C. In terms of stent expansion ratio, plateau level of the proximal member cell around 1.2, which is much lower than other hospitals. Especially in the PMB plus one level, oh, that means uh, one millimeter apart from the carina, uh, this value is uh, uh, much lower. Uh, as a result, in competent opposition, Hospital C has more frequent incompetent opposition in the pot group compared to the non pot group. Indeed, this hospital has more proximal wiring compared to the other hospital. Therefore, the pot balloon should be located with a distal marker at the carina, which promotes a distal jetting strut wide opening and the optimal distal wiring is promoted and the mount opposition decreased. However, suboptimal part uh, indicates the smaller balloon located more proximal side promote the proximal gel cell widening like this, uh, which promotes the proximal wiring. Uh, as a result, uh, mild opposition is increased. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my conclusion slide. 3D OCT guidance promotes optimal guide wire crossing and rest in competent opposition after kissing balloon inflation. Monitoring the stent configuration during the additional procedure after member cell stenting with 3D OCT is effective to reduce stent failure. Thank you for your attention.